one of our biggest responsibilities, I think, as adults is what we teach our children, whether we're parents, whether we're grandparents, whether we're simply mentors to them. So it's very important that one of the things when it comes to our eating habits that we make sure we're communicating the right idea. We communicate the wrong idea when we literally grab something that is microwavable, stick it in the microwave, pull it out and give it to our kids. And they see that dinner can be made in two minutes. Or when we put them in the car and we say, we don't have time to cook, let's drive through this magical little window that opens up and gives us food so quickly. When we do these things repeatedly, day in and day out, we teach our children that food is just for gas, for the body, like gas is for the car, put something in, let's go, life continues, and we've got to do all these other things. And the inconvenience is, gosh, I have this gnawing feeling in my tummy, oh yeah, I'm hungry, let's see what I can throw in there. When we communicate the wrong idea when it comes to food, we're going to create a generation of adults that are going to do the same thing, that are simply going to look at food as, what an inconvenience, what can I stick into this belly so that it stops annoying me with hunger pains and I can just continue about my life. But then life becomes so hard to deal with because I'm not happy, I'm not satisfied, I'm in pain, I'm grouchy, I'm upset, I'm an emotional wreck, I'm depressed, I'm bipolar, I have panic attacks, anxiety, I can't sleep at night, I can't wake up, I can't function during the day. And all because I did not look at food the way I should be looking at it. So as soon as we start looking at it differently, we can then teach our kids differently and future generations will definitely be happier and healthier generations. So let's look at food as something that's functional, that comes into the body and serves a function. It gives my organs what they need so that they can work better and they can keep me healthy and happier and, and, and stable and, and I can then be a more productive adult and lead happier lives and keep families together instead of I'm not happy, I'm gonna get a divorce, I'm not happy, I'm leaving home, I'm not happy, I'm gonna get an addiction. So it starts with us. And one of the great ways to do it is through Soul Naturals because what we get from this company is whole products that literally are food. An amazing new product that Soul has is called Neuro IM. And literally what it is, is functional mushrooms. 10 functional foods that we can now bring into the body. And now it works in beautiful ways. Now, why are mushrooms? And as I say that, I look to the left and I see mushrooms because there they are. Let me show you. <laughs> So anyway, that was interesting. I didn't do this in the Spanish video, mind you. So one of the, why is it that I'm so interested in mushrooms? Because mushrooms are the fruit of a mycelium, mycelium, <laughs> that, that runs like a network under, right underneath the, um, the earth. And it's very similar to a um, network like we have with uh, our internet that connects us all. And now no matter where you are in the world, you're connected. And no matter what you need, you can get from wherever you're at. So mycelium is the same thing. It kind of connects everything. And then whatever, wherever the nutrient starts off, it can travel through this network and feed forests. And so you can have mycelium and acres and acres and acres and acres, and then they bloom or they provide or they produce um, this fruit, which is the fungus, the fungus, the mushrooms, same thing. So now we have mushrooms that, what do they give us? Well, they give us all that the mycelium does or, or has, all these nutrients and minerals and, and properties that are amazing for us. Uh, what does amazing mean? Well, they're antimicrobial, antiviral, anti-cancerous, anti-inflammatory. Um, why is that important? Well, because anti, anti, antibacterial, there's a lot of bacteria that um, is uh, dangerous to us. And that's why when we go to the doctor, uh, they give you antibiotics. And so to avoid antibiotics, which harm me more than benefit me, now I have something that I can look to as an option. Now I have mushrooms and I have them in narrow I am. Um, why am I interested in, in, in a product that says they're antiviral? Well, because one thing, there's seven viruses known, there must be, there definitely are more, that um, result in cancer when they go unheated or un, when, when we let them just take flight. So 
if I have a product that's antiviral, now I'm addressing these viruses that could take me to have a cancer diagnosis. Um, why am I interested in a product that promises um, uh, to be, or that is, uh, or that says it is anti-inflammatory? Because all illnesses today have a basis in inflammation. So whatever illness you have, whatever diagnosis you have today, it is result of inflammation. Little or a lot, but it is inflammation at the core. So a product that comes in and fights inflammation is a product that's going to address whatever diagnosis I have from my doctor. And remember, I'm not a doctor. I don't diagnose, I don't treat, I don't prescribe. What I do is I share information that's educational. What does that mean to you? That means you're better prepared to make decisions for yourself regarding your health. Because you'll hear me say this a lot, no one will take care of your health better than you will. There's no one that has a more invested, is more invested in your health than you. I mean, who could be? It's your life. It's your health. It's your body. Who could want to take care of it more than you? No one. And so it's up to you to get information, to get second opinions, to be informed, to, to take a hold of your health and take care of it because no one will take care of it better than you. And that's what these videos are for, to help you have this information so that now you can say, oh yes, I am gonna do this to take care of me. Oh yes, I am gonna do this other thing to take care of me. And so that's what these videos are for. And so when I have a product that is anti-inflammatory, that's why I want it, because it takes care of the inflammation, which is the precursor of all the um, illnesses out there. When I have a product that is anti-cancer, what does that mean? Because that's what um, mushrooms are. They're anti-cancerous. What does that mean? That means that studies have been done, and you can find them on medical magazines and publications that confirm that when mushroom was taken by people, people were able to eliminate cancer. That's a big statement right there. But it's out there, and it's in medicine, in medicine, in publicate, med, pub meds, pub, medical publications, okay then. Um, and you can read them and you have access to them. In fact, when I started reading a lot about mushrooms, I came across a gentleman whose name is Paul um, Stemitz, and one of the things that happened with Paul was that his 83-year-old mother developed and he had dedicated his entire, has dedicated his entire life to the study of mushrooms. And um, when his mother at 83 years old came to him and said, I have stage four cancer. And the doctors literally said to her and the family that had gotten together, you have three months left of life, she does, and you with her. Um, and they went out and they not only picked the dress she was gonna wear, but also the casket and um, said, well, that's, it is what it is. And one of the doctors, um, and, and the doctor then says to her, but you know, you could try to boost your immune system or work on your immune system. I've heard that there's a mushroom out there, turkey tail, that's very good and studies are being done. And so of course she listened to the doctor, even though her son who had been studying mushrooms forever had told her that. But anyway, today she's still alive. Um, she uh, was able to conquer uh, cancer breast cancer stage four and it was because she took two medicines that the doctor put her on actually I wrote them down so I wouldn't forget what they were Taxol and Herceptin and together with that she added mushrooms now you know when people or women go through cancers like this there's a lot of studies done and at the same time that she was going through a study with these two meds um, a total of almost 50 women were going through that study as well every one of them died and this is all something you can read online on the medical pub, uh, journal or medical publication and um, the reason um, and, and but she was the only one who had added a, a mushroom blend or a mushroom to her two medications that she was taken taking so it, obviously in the medical profession it was a huge thing and they started looking into how we can use mushrooms in medicine and and what have you but I share with you that story to explain why it is that mushrooms in general are considered anti-cancerous now, if you thought that was interesting, I thought it was even more interesting to read about this other type of cancer, which is called Merkel, Merkel, Merkel cell carcinoma, MCC. And it is a skin type of cancer that um, there's no chemo, there's no radiation that works for it. 
there is nothing that um, that can be used successfully against it is what the medical profession says um, it uh, it grabs not only the skin but then the liver and only 10 people have been able to survive this cancer that they know of that have you know come forth and said it one of them in particular was someone who used a seven blend a blend of seven mushrooms and they actually have um, on these medi on these publications they actually show the cell how it was before um, when it was a, the cancer cell and how it was after the person began to take the mushroom and it is amazing to see the difference because it's almost like if these mushrooms come into the body and remove the cloak of where the cancer is so that the immune system can say oh there you are and then attack it and then eliminate it and this person was literally able to cure himself and it was not a young person. I don't remember the age, but it was not a young person. So look it up because it's out there and it will help further confirm the fact that these mushrooms are amazing and that NeuroIM is going to be beneficial for so many people at so many different levels. Not just physically, which we've gone over a couple of illnesses that are degenerative in nature and we are very concerned with, but also emotionally like OCDs that people, um, even kids are experiencing nowadays, you know, different types of OCD uh, behaviors that um, are a result of traumas we've had since we're kids um, because now we're adults or even children who have um, things that because of the world we live in, the radiation we get from all these sorts of uh, tablets and electric electronic devices we're in constant contact with and now it isn't just the TV but it's everything else we're always looking for Wi-Fi environments and we bring up our and we're bringing up our kids and our grandchildren in it so of course we have a generation that's growing up with a lot of um, things that are affecting the mind and creating OCD mental imbalances of all sorts of kind of all kinds um, of all sorts of all kinds uh, people that can't get past things in their life like they're stuck in this moment in time when they went through a trauma or they went through a loss or they went through a betrayal or they went through a um, something and they just can't move forward um, and so they they um, they're just stuck there and they you know and, and and it results in all sorts of anxiety and panic attacks and um, di different diagnoses and depressions and bipolar uh, reactions I'm happy I'm sad I'm um, I'm happy and sad I'm so it's just so many things mentally and we're always waiting and, and and holding on for the diagnosis well what if we started to listen to the way the body whispers and tells us that there's something going on before it actually becomes a huge diagnosis so what if we look at our children and we start realizing that they're fidgety and they probably shouldn't be because we know what nice energetic children should look like and we know what fidgety or or different um, or, or when something's going on we don't just brush it aside and we're too busy with our lives to, to notice it we want to take a look at the way the body whispers before it roars and actually just um, brings on something that is much harder to take care of and as we do that we'll think of ourselves first obviously because that as we see it in ourselves we can then see it in our children you know so am I being forgetful am I having little things that I didn't have before and I'm not gonna just say it's old age or I'm coming up in years and that's why um, but I'm actually gonna listen to it as if it's whispers the body's giving me so a pain I didn't have rings that I used to put in and out of my fingers so easily and now they're not coming out as easily um, uh, gosh spots that I didn't have and now they're there uh, things that I can't remember and I used to bring them up to memory so quickly because all these things are different kinds of ways the body whispers that there's inflammation that we need to address inflammation in the brain can turn into full-blown dementias and there's so many different types of them Alzheimer's is one of them um, but you know even uh, diabetes um, is an inflammation and course now I went away from the brain but um Parkinson's is an illness Lou Gehrig's disease it's it's all these inflammations that have been in the body for years and now the body gave me whispers but I ignored them and so now they're now the body roars so I want to pay attention to myself and then I want to start communicating that to my children and grandchildren and, 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 and to kids that I mentor because I want to create a different generation. So NeuroIM is actually going to be this amazing product of 10 mushrooms that are functional, that are going to come into the body and address all sorts of things. So um, I want a product that's anti-inflammatory, that's antiviral, that's antibacterial, 
that's anti-cancerous. In fact, something else that they've noticed from mushrooms is that they restrict um, the blood vessels that feed the tumors. So now think of why it gets that name of anti-cancerous. Because wow, it's actually doing this neat thing with the blood vessels. Um, and then again, I'm thinking now not just of tumors that are malignant, but even those that are not that can inconvenience me just as much. So don't look at your body as an illness. Um, look at it as a whole and use whole plants because you're going to see that the difference will be immense in the tools that now your body has to actually go out and, and, and do what it's been designed to do, which is keep you healthy. So as we take care of our health, we want to be so careful with what we communicate to our children. We want to instill the importance of good eating habits and they start with eating whole foods and whole plants. And sometimes we can um, find them in capsules because they can very easily be opened up like this Neuro IM blend can be opened up um, and, and poured into a shake that I give my child or um, a hot drink that I give him uh, or her. And there's just so many ways to present this to, to children because it is safe. It's been used for millenniums in the Chinese culture to deal with all sorts of, of um, body imbalances that existed before the medical profession became a thing, before med medicine became a profession. You know, we used to have to depend on what the earth gave us, and the earth gave us plants and mushrooms that the Chinese used and uh, wrote books on it, and, and that's what we used to gravitate towards in the past. Now it's medicine, but it used to be traditional Chinese medicine. So let's look at a culture that has used mushrooms for years and years and years, millennials, without having negative side effects with children at a young age and has um, years of a culture that is healthy, healthier than us. You know, they have, um, we have illnesses that aren't recognized as illnesses in China because they don't even have the word. Um, you know, like menopause, what is that um, in, in the Chinese culture? So listen to your body as it whispers, uh, make changes yourself and teach your children to see those changes too. And, and we start by what we eat, you know, and this is an ex excellent way to do it. Incorporate mushrooms as part of your whole foods and now you have them in a capsule easy to take, but you can open them and pour them onto things and they don't have an uncomfortable taste. So if you saw this video because you just came across it, please uh, comment below and let me know how I can um, suggest anything uh, uh, to help you or if you have questions on the way I use um, Neuro IM. If someone gave you this video, then please go to them because they can surely help you also to take um, control of your health, to improve it, to return to it, um, uh, or to help you address whatever it is that concerns you or your family today. And uh, let me know how you do on Neuro IM because it is an amazing product. And remember, it's your health, your body, your life. Take care of it and use NeuroIM because you're gonna see amazing benefits.